The American edition of Forbes reported that the bombers of the US Air Force B-1B Lancer are allegedly working out the task of destroying the ships of the Black Sea and Baltic fleets of Russia this caused an active discussion in professional circles not that anyone is seriously afraid of such a raid it is impossible outside of a total war between Russia and the United States but the very working out of such a task as a sign of a dangerous shift in the minds of Western strategists the article by columnist David Axe says that the strategic missile carriers of the US Air Force B-1B Lancer fly over the waters of the Baltic and Black Seas not new we have known for a long time and our military is closely watching every maneuver of these aircraft what is relatively new is the Americans. Transparent hint that strategists capable of carrying nuclear weapons have begun to bother us with their presence for a reason they are actually practicing the technique of delivering a destructive strike on our fleets the Baltic and Black Sea but hand on heart and this is not a discovery and what else should they actually do even if they focus mainly on hitting the deep territory of Russia then. Zeroing out the Russian fleets will still be included in the list of tasks what was really new was Axe's brazen statement that just a pair of B-1BS could easily destroy Russian fleets by firing 48. Long-range anti-ship missiles LRASMA The use of such a number of missiles makes it possible to send both the Baltic and Black Sea fleets of Russia to the bottom from almost anywhere in the airspace. Without entering the Russian air defense zone this makes it possible to eliminate the main threat to both American ships and the fleets of us allies in the Eastern European region the subsequent. Reaction in Russia unfolded mainly between the two poles on one as the statement of the military observer of Komsomolskaya Pravda Viktor Barents that if the US Air Force decides to attack the Baltic fleet then one strait of Stalin will remain from America this means obviously a retaliatory strike by Russia against the United States with all its thermonuclear potential after which the waters of the world ocean will flood and the remnants of the soil between Canada and Mexico will flood all this as American chatter it looks like the statements of an adult who is playing in a children's sandbox the Baltic fleet has air and missile defense capabilities the Black Sea fleet is also not unarmed at the other pole there is a more restrained reaction of our honored Admiral Vladimir Komoyodov he said that the ships of the Russian Navy are invulnerable to subsonic missiles firstly ships are not ships they have a security and defense system and most importantly they are well armed in addition our ships are always covered from the air and they themselves are maneuverable it will not be so to hit them with missiles especially subsonic ones like tomahawks and harpoons such missiles are shot down by our air defense and they are shot down with a fairly high accuracy therefore there is no need to frighten the Baltic and Black Sea fleets you